you don't know your average guy on the never mind your own youtube channel and i'm at a very nice quiet location with a lot of fields kilometers ahead of me and i want to do a range test with the titan switch antenna i broke the record my personal record in the other flight with the titan switch antenna system and i had the whip antennas on it with the booster but now I want to fly with just the directional antenna. Now what I want to do is have a setup with the tripod and the cables and the booster. I'm going to have the directional antenna pointing into that direction up high with the booster and the cables and see how that compares to what I got right now. Because the idea is that the antenna is higher, it should be able to get and send a better signal. Because of the cables, it will lose strength. And because of the booster, it will gain strength again. So overall, it should be better. And you guys might think, why are you not putting the booster on the transmitter with the directional antenna like that why do you put the cables in between well the reason why i do that is because if i would put the booster in between i would have so much signal for sure i won't be able to use it because i will quickly run out of battery if i put the cables in between that's a big advantage because i can just sit in my car I don't have to point, I don't have to hold my transmitter high and I want to know if I, in that situation, will still be able to get a better signal. I don't think the hares and the rabbits mind that much about my drone flying over their heads. So it's a perfectly safe flight and a safe environment and that's the important thing, always fly safe. So one important thing we can notice right away is that even though the antenna is directing in that way and the drone is just standing on the ground, I'm having a good signal. So very close by, but my drone only wants to take photos, which is weird. Yeah, so now it says no signal. It does say no signal. So what I may actually want to do is um, lower it and put it in that direction first. Or what? the transmitter putting it on and it says aircraft disconnected I restarted the aircraft restarted transmitter booster is on I got all the cables connected wow let's see what happens if I put the whip on Yeah, now I got signal. Okay, and we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna put the whip antennas on the cable. And we're gonna put the cables on the transmitter and try to eliminate what the problem is.
Yeah, it connects. So now I'm going to put on the directional antenna with the cables. Okay, turn it on. And I got signal. Turn it off. Put the booster in between. And turn it on. And turn the transmitter on. And it says, it still says aircraft disconnected. So that's with the, with the booster. Or is there something with, oh, it's at 5.8 again. You see, wow, it is at 5.8 and now it gets it. I hate 5.8. Okay, there we go. Seventy meters. Let's see what it's doing. I want to kill those five point eight gigahertz. I have to put it on my checklist. Like what I have to do before I go flying is just manually set it to 2.4 every time. But um, it's true this uh, antenna system and probably especially the booster only works with 2.4. So this is a clear demonstration of what the, what that means. And like this I can see my screen but just like just enough even when I'm in in the car so there's so much Sun and um, one kilometer five bars I might even want to go into sports mode let's do that just to speed up things a little bit and I do need to check if the antenna is pointing in the right direction I think that should be good. I got the extra capacity battery on it. And I only got one bar, which is like a little bit disappointing, to be honest. But uh, the video signal is just excellent. It's just excellent. And I'm at four and a half kilometers. With 78% battery and tailwind. Now I'm losing the signal. Okay. And now let's just do something like this. To get the signal back. Because um, I don't see the video, but you still have control. It's just hanging out there. So I may want it to return to home until the signal gets back. And that was four and a half. And you hear it beeping, so there is a connection. And I did tell it to come back. And it does so. It's just not showing the video feed. I might want to turn off the transmitter and turn it on again. Because I had the situation before that all the way along 
and back it did not show any video so that's what I'm gonna do in an attempt to get the video back it does kind of connect to the drone but <laughs> no with this tailwind it might be a problem because now it will hang out there until it runs out of battery but because it has a headwind when turning back it might not have enough unless it is already coming back but Yeah, it was It was at 5.8 again because I restarted it. It just went to 5.8, so I had just like uh, an idea, like, hey, maybe you gotta put it to 2.4. All right. So um, yeah, it is coming back, and it has enough uh, to return to home actually, but still, it's uh, disappointing. It's di it is disappointing, but it's possible that. Out there, there is a Wi-Fi signal in in any of these farms that is just interfering. You know, let's just fly out there until it wants to return to home. Or what we can do is I just hang out there and see if I can get a better signal by moving this a little bit. I don't see how that is helping. None. That's that doesn't make any difference. And let's just move on. And the signal is getting better uh, worse. You can see it has hiccups. Battery level is low. The aircraft will go to the home. Yeah. Go home. That's the difficulty with these tests. You are operating at a limit of what what these things can do. So to squeeze just a little bit more out of it takes a lot of effort. But um, still, it's um, I would have expected to to get a, at least one kilometer more like this. And that's not happening. Maybe we should say that uh, the setup with the booster and the cables is just similar as with the directional antenna right on the transmitter. So it's like the, the loss because of the cables is just compensated by the booster. And that's it. You, you do not get something extra out of it because I just got as far as um, with, with only the directional. So I think, just to be sure about this, I would have to have the directional antenna right on the booster and see if that makes a difference. So that's what we're gonna do next.